Hey everybody, welcome to the Pink Cloud Nine Vodcast, trademark video podcast on YouTube, Spotify, and everywhere else. We have a marketing tip at the end of this show, so be sure to watch the full episode for the marketing tip of the day. It's going to be a good one. Today I have a wonderful guest. Her name is Lana Menikowski, which is super Hi. cool. I love that. Hi. Lana is a discovery coach. And Lana, you are going to tell us what is a discovery coach and how do you help people? Yeah, well, first I just want to say thank you for having me on your platform because I just love everything about you and how you came to create this because it is totally my jam, like creating magic on your own and just taking a chance on yourself. So um, to tell you about me, so yes, I am a discovery coach, which in other terms might be a certified life coach. So I got my life coach certification. And a reason I, I refer to myself as a discovery coach is that I help women who went through years of infertility treatments, but never were able to become moms discover the life of their dreams because for so long that was my story I wanted to be a mom I thought becoming a mom was my ultimate purpose in this earth and my husband and I we met later in life um I just you know kind of assumed that as women our stuff's gonna work like it's supposed to work and mine didn't (laughs) so What I do is I work with a community of women who are just struggling to figure out how to navigate their future because their dreams of motherhood were just not going to be realized. And I help them discover how to find within them the tools that they already possess, but maybe just have never tapped into to create the life of their dreams. That is remarkable. You know, I love that. Um, we were having a conversation prior about our experiences as well. So it's really good to get to know someone on that level. How did this start for you, the discovery coach and helping women discover their, Mm -hmm. um, you know, potential and future plans and things like that? Well, a little about me. So I was um, just always somebody who was a go-getter. I was always very like motivated, not necessarily like top of my class, but just like always very active and kind of like fearless in my life, if you will. And after I went through my seven years of infertility treatments and didn't become a mom, I just noticed myself like sitting in the back of the room, not being out there engaging, not finding like new opportunities to get involved in things or try new things. And I just, I felt like I was sort of withering away as a human. And I started to also gain weight. I was eating a lot. So I was eating my feelings. So I call it buffering. Um, So I was buffering with food because I felt very comforted by food. So I started gaining all this weight. Um, And then I started working on some weight loss and I discovered a coach who coaches on weight loss who in other ways was a life coach. And I just was exposed to this way of using our mind to tap into like, what is the root cause? Like, why am I going for food? Why am I not engaging with my friends? Why am I hating on people that are having babies because I'm judging myself that my body isn't working like the rest of the women around me. So that was an opportunity to see that there's so much that we possess, you know, these tools within us that are just go on tap. So I started to become very interested on how I could teach other women to use these resources that we already have within us. So that's what motivated me to go back to school and get my uh, life coach certification and start to tell the rest of the world, like you could do this too. So whether it's, you know, pregnancy that you're dealing with or not being able to become a mom or feeling like you're in a dead end job, like the tools I teach can help women anywhere. I just happen to have a special place in my heart for women like me that have infertility. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. So um, Lana's links will be in the description. So you can hyperlink onto her contact info, business info at any time. Very cool. So tell me a little bit about your experience with um, either a first 
client or a testimonial of yeah. someone that you worked with that how how it was and how they're doing now sure well as you may be able to imagine like talking about not being able to have kids is not something that like we talk about all the time like those of us that have infertility have a ton of shame and a ton of judgment for ourselves because we feel like we're not as good or not as worthy as other women because our bodies mm -hmm. didn't do what we thought they were supposed to do so there are not a lot of women that go out and really talk about what they're feeling because there's that element of shame to infertility so when I work with women and women find me, it's commonly through my podcast. So I decided it's been um, over a year now. I started a podcast, comes out every Tuesday. It's called the So Now What Podcast. And I keep my episodes short. They're like 10 or 15 minutes. Mm -hmm. And I offer little exercises for people that listen in to do and maybe try at home because you got to warm people up to this because for so long we've been just sitting in this like, area where we feel like we don't relate to people because we see all our friends and family popping out kids left and right. Mm. And so when I work with people, they're commonly finding me on my podcast. And when we work together, we just, I do a lot of, I call it belief work. So one thing I think we don't understand in general as humans, that the beliefs that we're carrying around commonly are not our own. They're usually passed down from our parents, passed down from a mentor, a teacher, societal beliefs. And so we move through our life having these beliefs that we're not good enough or we're not worthy enough mm -hmm. because of somebody else's definition of worthy or somebody else's definition of what your life should be like. And so we do a ton of work when um, my, I call it students. I don't like calling it clients because I feel like what I do is more of a teacher. Um, so I don't see it as like a client, you know, type of relationships. And um, when I work with my students, I really help them to decide like what beliefs you have about you that when you wake up every day, you already are not proud of who you are, or you're already feeling like, your life is lacking and decide like, are those the beliefs you really want to carry forth in your life mm -hmm. doing? So I have a mastermind um, actually called Thrive After Infertility. It's a three month mastermind. And if anyone's listening and wants to get in on that, like this is your time because it's starting on the 28th of September is my next class. Um, and for three months, we meet once a week and it's a small group of women. Cause that's the other thing I've come to know is when we find our tribe, like we are just like pigs and shit. Like we love it because we finally can let our guard down and tell who we are. So in the thrive after infertility mastermind, we are going to get really clear about like what beliefs you have about yourself. Like how do they make you feel? Like, let's maybe check out some new beliefs. Like, let's decide that we can create a life that we love, even if we can't be a mom. So um, the podcast, to answer your question, is probably my number one place. So the So Now What podcast, it's on Apple, Spotify, you know, all the majors. Um, and my episodes come out every Tuesday. But Thrive After Infertility Mastermind is truly going to be like the best investment because the tools I teach in the mastermind you take with you and you implement into yourself and your life like forever. So I call it like a one-time investment. That is awesome. Wow. Um, I, I learned not too long ago because I looked it up. I was like, what's the difference between customer and client? Mm. Right. Yeah. Because it, it, it's like an interchangeable term. And, and I was like, well, I got to figure it out. So what Google says is, <laughs> So a customer is someone that maybe buys something that they've never met you or you never met them, or maybe they'll buy something like a shirt from you or a, a, a song from you or what, what happened. Yeah. And then it's a one time and you never see them again type of thing. Yeah. The client is someone that you actually have a, more of a relationship with where you do, you know, uh, do work for services, money is exchanged, but also uh, it's more of a, a long-term, you know, a friend relationship. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Uh, and then, <clears throat> there's the, the, the aftercare 
from, uh, from the yeah. circuses, like, like, uh, yeah. So, you know, um, and then I like that you brought up the students, mm -hmm. um, because that's also, um, a good way to put it. So, so I just wanted to, I don't know. Yeah. Well, you know, I think so many of us just have this thirst for knowledge and we think like once we graduate high school or once you graduate college, like the learning ends mm -hmm. and I've come to learn in like getting my certification and coaching and even like living the path that I've lived is that we have so much more to tap into in ourselves. And I used to be somebody who I never liked to be alone because I didn't really feel comfortable being alone. I was bored. I didn't have like this calmness when I was alone because I was always needing other people to entertain me. But when you become a student of yourself, you really like can see like you can be your own best company. Like you don't need to like have someone pick you up and, you know, go to the mall together or go shopping together or go to the clubs to get like whatever it is. Like it's such an awesome opportunity when you can just like be at peace with your own self and your own company. So that's why I think like calling somebody a student or referring to the folks that I work with as students is I teach them how to create that life where they're comfortable in their own skin and okay with being alone and not feeling like they need to go leave the house in order to go shopping so that they can get their mind off things. So this, the term student, I think we we all have an opportunity to be as eternal students. Yeah, it's great. I love it. I'm, I'm probably going to start using that word a lot more. Yeah. And then also I should mention that even though my specialty is infertility, the type of coaching that I'm certified in is called causal coaching. So understand what's causing you to feel a certain way or, or what thoughts are causing you to react a certain way in your life. So if somebody um, doesn't have infertility, but feels like they're looking to create a life that they love and really uncover some of the talents or some of the dreams and figure out how to get to that, I can help with that because I'm a certified life coach in all aspects of life. I just have this you know, little baby niche that I love to take care of and love to nourish because I know what it's brought me in my own personal life. Absolutely. So I can basically help anyone. <laughs> That's good. That's good. Okay. So a lot of uh, my audience likes to know, and I like to know, so mm -hmm. what are the pricing package points? Now, you don't have to answer in numbers. You don't mm -hmm. have to pay prices or anything like that. My question is, is it like something, do you work with people on a, like a, a monthly basis, a three month basis, yearly, six month, whatnot? Mm -hmm. Do you uh, have different price packages? Uh, do you have, um, payment plans? Um, so these are the questions that we yeah. like to know around here because hundred percent like makes sense. Yeah. So, um, I have three different offerings. Uh, one is one-on-one, -on -one, which, you know, frankly, I feel like with what we're working on, one um, class together usually is just, you know, not enough. It might just be like a refresher for somebody who I've worked with in the past. So that's an option. Um, I have a three month container, which is one on one coaching, uh, you know, where it's just the two of us once um, once a week. And then I also have my mastermind, which is a small group of other women with infertility. And we go through that three month process together in a small group setting. Um, everything's on Zoom, everything's recorded. So if somebody can't um, make the class or you know has to skip that week, everything is available to them. So that's my three month um, mastermind container. And then I have a private Facebook group for people that are my students and it's a lot more intimate, you know, so we can, if someone's having a bad day, they can come on, share what's going on, find support from me, from other students in the, in the group. And then I also offer a, at this point right now, I still am doing like a free, I call it a discovery call. So on my website, stitchcoaching.com, you can um, see there's a place where it says work with me and you can schedule a free uh, discovery call just to see if we're like a good fit. Cause I never want to build expectations for somebody that we're a good fit. If there's something that might be better for a therapist to work on or a psychiatrist to work on. Um, so as a life coach, I work more with like creating your future where therapists and um, 
clinicians work more on like dealing with some of the stuff that came up in your past and kind of healing from that sense. I work with students on creating the future of their dreams. Absolutely. All right. Well, lastly, tell us how to um, contact uh, you for more business information or for what have you. Yeah. Give us your links. Give I'd give you all my goods. Socials. What do you have? Yes. Yeah, so I have an awesome Instagram page. Mm -hmm. It's Stitch Coaching, S T I T C H Coaching. That's on Instagram. On Facebook, I have Stitch Coaching Facebook group, a public one. Um, and then I have my podcast. And when you search for the podcast, you have to search for five words the so now what podcast. So um, when you search for that, you'll find my podcast and you'll, whether you have infertility or not, I have people tell me all the time that when they listen to it, they get such great nuggets of information. So give it a shot. If you have a friend out there that is suffering from infertility or is feeling sadness because they couldn't become a mom, I'd love for you to tell them about me and let them know that there's hope to create a life that they love, that they could love again. Totally. Thank you so much. Yeah. Thank you, all, Catherine. All of your links will be in the description below hyperlinked and uh, they will get in touch with you. Please uh, get in touch with Lana. She's amazing. Okay. Last, lastly, my part, I'm going to give you all the marketing tip of the day. <laughs> I'm so excited. Okay, guys. I don't know if you realize this, but networking business groups are where it's at right now. Lana, do you attend business networking groups? I do. Yes. Good. Good. My favorite one is the Happy Neighborhood Project. I also like Epic. Ninja Networking is one of their websites. I've tried Blitzer. It's two speed networking for me, even for my ADHD. Kind of gives me a little bit of a a tumble because it's really super fast. And I don't want to say the same thing like 10 times in one hour. I only like saying things about my business maybe once in an hour, maybe twice in an hour, but any more than twice an hour, I'm getting a headache. You know what I mean? The other ones that I like are um, the ones that are being created now inside Facebook groups. So make sure that you're joining uh, either female Facebook groups or male Facebook groups or mixed entrepreneurial business networking events. That's where I get about 25% of my client. So that's why I'm talking about that's the marketing tip. I mean, that's where you meet someone like I'm meeting with Lana right now and we're talking about business and we get maybe a 30 second pitch or a two minute pitch. And so that's my marketing tip of today. And I haven't mentioned that in a while. So I hope that helps. Go visit Happy Neighborhood Project. And uh, have a good day. Everybody have a wonderful day. Great weekend. Thank you so much for watching the show. Bye. Bye.